Hi guys, it's Rachel here with Medieval Mirage Monday. This journal is pretty much ready to um, something bit me. Um, start working in, I think, and seeing what we have to fill the pockets. So, um, what I want to do is find. Mm, that's interesting word, isn't it? Uh, find all of my stuff that I've made. There's some here and in here anywhere else i don't think so no and let's just see what what we can put in pockets oh i found more pockets here hmm. okay let's just see it's not very much not very much not very many things in here so um oh uh, we'll just have a look. Let's divide them into three as well because we have three journals. It'll be random. Actually, I might put that one there and that one there. All right, there. I thought I had more of those. Did I only do one? Okay. Let's just see what we have here. We have these journal cards. They can go. That one, that one. Just trying to find things that sort of are similar to each, well, you know, like sort of similar bigness. So that can go there like that and that. I do feel like they might be too wide, but we'll try. One, two, like that, because that's got a really long one and that one doesn't. And then we had these. One, two, and I think I have another one something or maybe that one we have that that and that oh look look at this they divide perfectly that one doesn't have one with the writing that and that okay so I'm just going to randomly grab a pile and the other ones will go with the other journals I'll fill what I can and then we'll see what I need to make Put those up there I will also come back and put in, um, now that's a pretty tight pocket. First of all, let's just double check. Okay, it's all good in there. Uh, I'm, I will come back and put also real ephemera in as well and book pages and things. So that's a big pocket. Now, because I've got the image there, I don't, I wouldn't put that in. I want it to go where I can see, so I put it on that side, but I could put this one in here. And then I'll put some ephemera behind it. You know, like real stuff, not handmade ephemera. This is handmade ephemera. We haven't done Jaff's envelopes yet. I need to do those. Honestly, something has bitten me there. It's so itchy. I'm sorry, I have to scratch. Put that in there. It's just, they're just gonna be glorious, I think. So, oh, I could put that in there if it's wide enough. I don't think it is. No. See, I might have to make something for that. Oh, no. Oh, that fits. There. So this is a preliminary fill the pages, fill the, the spots. This one is going to be good with these wider things. Gives you an opportunity to put those in. Because, of course, the little pockets are... See, I've nearly finished my stuff. I need more... But that's good. This kit tells me, allows me to know what do I need. That's going to fit nicely in there. I know exactly what I want to make. Now that might fit in there. It may or may not. Let's see. Might be too wide. My grungy documents that are not for everybody. Not everybody likes the old grungy stuff. Sometimes some people want pristine old stuff. I sell the grand, like the, the, the crumbly, grungy stuff that I like to use. Now I think I'll put something different there. Those colours are a bit too similar, and that's a writing spot. We need a journal. There's lots of wonderful tags in Jaff's kit. I, this is just, you know, I do this just to um, get a gauge of what do I need. That's lovely. And now I might turn that around. I love the colours. There's still more things that need to pop in. 
Uh, that could go there, but let's just see what else we have coming along here. Probably best in that one. Yep. Or in that one. I know that's not as deep as it, because that's oozy glue. Could fit nicely in there. Nope. I need something smaller, so I think I'm going to put it in that one. And that's got a fabric pocket there. So yes, I'm going to go back here. Where was I going to put that? Here. Slide it in there. And that is lovely. Okay, so that's that one. Let's do the other ones. Oh, the other ones also still need um, some page extending. So um, I haven't even taken the clips off them yet. Here we go. Let's take the clips off from the gluing. Doesn't take you long to fill them when you don't have much stuff to put in. And here we've been making for weeks and not enough stuff. But it's also because I'm dividing it between three journals. Okay, I'm just going to randomly grab this one. And does that one fit in there? It may or may not. Yes, it does. Oh, and that is going to be great. Okay. And in here we might put... That's two. This... I do know a few things I still want to make to go in these journals. I need something really narrow for there and I don't have it, so I'll have to make that. Or fold, who knows, I might have to just fold it. I don't want roses with roses, aren't I? Silly? Well, those little roses, oh, that's better, different, different colours. That's a pull out. I need to make Jaff's tags to go in there. And then that needs a pull out. Have we gone past halfway yet? No. That's going to be too wide. That's quite cute with that peekabooing out the side like that. I'm going to make something to go in those. Now, that one, it's a shame because you can't see her. Maybe I'll slide that one in there. I want to see her. I don't know if this one's going to fit. I'm, I might just make it in that pocket. No, it won't. No, I'm going to put that in a different one. I like that one. I think that's... No, too much the same. Aren't I being pedantic today? I'm going to put that in there. And then I'll have something behind it. And then I don't know if that will fit in there, but it might. Let me just get my ruler in there because I haven't checked that pocket. Because it did have a gusset, but I think it's glued itself down. It has. I don't know what I've done in there. Let's just see if we can. Just... Oh, I did. I slid it open. There we go. Because I forgot to check that one. There we go. That fits in there. And we need to find a home for that one, which might be, I don't think it's going to do well there because of the curve. It's going to fit in nicely here. But we can't see it. So I'm going to go back to the belly band and put it in there. I've got that tuck as well. Where's the belly band? Yeah, it's going to go in there. And that one might fit in a different pocket. So I wasn't so happy about that one there. I think I'll move that. I might even... Nope. I might even paper clip that one to a page. That's fine. I thought I had another pocket here. Is that going to be all right in there? Yes, it will make it, yes. And that will paper clip somewhere. Or oh, it could pop in there, actually. That's a nice, generous pocket, that one. So there we go. We put everything in. Now, I have random pages here that need 
some work on them like this one and let's see what I have left here I don't think I want to put more pockets I'm going to trim a bit off top and bottom That was pretty good eyeballing, wasn't it? So I'm actually going to glue that on. So I'm just going to grab some glue paper. Oh, I didn't put the stuff in the other one. Oh, that's okay. We'll do that in a minute. I'm going to glue that. Run my glue down the edge here, like so, and then that's going to stick on there. So run my glue down this edge here. always a bit fiddly doing this slide it up and slide it across a bit not quite straight I don't think This is going to be too wide. Oh no, I want to fold that in there. That's what I want to do. I'm going to glue that down. So this is a writing spot. I'm going to trim that off. And I'll put some washi tape there. So that's going to glue down and then it's going to fold in. And it's a writing spot. That's the plan. So we need to put lots of glue here. I'm not making a big tall deep pocket or anything like that because then I have to make a big tall deep something to go in it. No, that's not how you do it. You go from your crease. Okay, and I'll trim any crookedness off. Let's see. Isn't that pretty? Wrong scissors. Where's my other scissors here? going to let that dry before I crease it and then I'm also going to grab I might grab an amity washi tape just wait one second I'm going to be on Lily yeah moved my washi tapes and I couldn't remember where I put them. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. These are very sticky. I am not good at putting things on straight guys. It's really a challenge for me. 
so it is what it is. I might even do a wrap around there. And as I mentioned, that is not going to be folded in until it really dries. Okay, so we'll leave that there and let's grab this punch and just snip the corners. Quite a bit of making still needs to happen here. Oh, lots of empty pockets. I think that's all good now. Let's see. Oh, yes, it's all good. I don't need to extend anymore. So that's that one. Put that aside. And let's go to this one here where we haven't filled anything yet. That was from the other day, the other week. Okay, so we have these. Let's put this one with a little bit of textile on it in there Listen, I love the colours there what's happening there so much fun putting the stuff in might be too wide we'll put that in there love it I'll extend that making some jar tags for that oh that's isn't that a lovely little one there mm -hmm. that can go on something narrow and oh i did oh no i did i had the one but i might make some more folded things too to go in this one Well, that can certainly fit in there. I think I might put it on that side, I like the contrasting colours, and then I'll put something else in there. That's quite big, so that one can go in there. It's that page. Make something for there. So that can go in there. Need to make jar tags for that one and don't think that will fit in there, no, nope. but it will fit in here. So I'll put that there. Oh, that's good. Okay. And then I need to do some more making, so we'll do that in the next video. But I'm going to sneeze here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm very sorry about that. I need to do some page work. My chair seems to have moved away from the desk. I, don't, I probably need to print out more pages. Let me use the pink one, I think. What have I got here? I've got that page in. I would have liked to have used that one, but I've already got the page in the journal, so I don't want to use that again. I think I'm going to put a little edging on like I did with the other one. Just fold it over like so. Some, let's see how tall my page is. Oh, perfect, excuse me. And extend it out with this.
with me. Oh, I don't like gluing these things on. Oh my goodness, I'm just the just the pits. Look how crooked that is. Isn't that just the worst? Oh, goodness gracious. I should have just put, you know what I should have done? I should have just put glue. It is what it is. It's going to be crooked. I should have just put glue on one side of this and then put the glue on the other side afterwards. I would have had a little bit less trouble, but I got there in the end. Oh, look at that. And that's extended that page. So then i just going to... Oh, I'll wait for it to dry, and then I'm just going to grab the corner punch and snip the corners, I think. Now this one. This one also needs an extension. Not a hair extension, just a page extension. So, because this is decorative, I might glue that on. Let's see. Or otherwise, I could glue this one on. We haven't used this one. And if I tear off those edges, yeah, I think that's going to be better. my bit. Lost my page guys. Where was it? I just did that one. It wasn't too far away. There it is. Okay so I want to let's just glue this on first so I don't have drama ramas. I'm going to glue that there. I don't think I'll bother making it a tuck simply because it's only a tiny spot. It's kind of hard to put things in there. Oh, no, maybe I will make it a tuck. I think I'll make it a tuck on this side. So that way we get, will we get to keep I'm folding it in quite a bit? Yeah, I'm making it a tuck on the other side. So it makes it a little bit easier to glue on. So this is, I'm just folding this over as a reinforcement. I probably should have printed out more pages and I should have printed them out um, double-sided in hindsight. Right. Have I done that right? I think so. Right. Now, let's see. We don't want it to be too deep. I think that's going to be my pocket. I can just use my Tombow glue. So, I really don't know what I'm doing. Fold that, there we go. That's it, that's how you do it. And, there we go enough on I think so and that is now glued on there and that is a lovely little side tuck I only put something folded narrow in there and then here I am simply going to go like this and 
Can I do that? Oh, I could just... Yeah, I want it to pull out. So then we might add... You could add some old paper there. Yeah, that's what you could do. You could add some old paper there and um, and have it as a... You open it up and it's you can write there. We'll see what I have afterwards. I generally have some bodgy old rag paper from fallen apart documents um, that is good for, to use for that or some old ledger or something so let's see we'll have a look and I've got a crease in there oh my goodness I am just it's just the worst. I'm just the worst at doing this sort of stuff. You wouldn't hope for perfection from me. Okay, got it. Again, no snippy snippy until it dries. And I learnt that lesson. And I want to put a little something there. Which will make it thick, but it doesn't matter. We can, it's a journal that can grow. So let me find uh, here. I have some old, well, not that old, but just all plainer sort of papers. I don't know why I'd keep that. Um, not that one. Straw paper, yeah, it's a bit thick, I think. What about a piece of holy old... No, that's got too many holes, don't you think? Old rag paper. I might not have... I might have to go searching further and beyond this bag. I don't want anything too thick. What is this? There. There's a beautiful, thin piece of paper. So let's take that off. What a beautiful piece of paper. Look at that. This is from the 1800s, I think. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I think I'll put that on the plain side. You know what? Maybe, maybe I could. Now I need to fold it. I like that. I actually could have even folded it out a bit further. It's, no, yeah, I could have just done it like this, which I might do, like so. That's where my crease is going to go. So that's a, a bit of a tabby sort of situation. And could I attach this? Could I attach it there? Could I attach it? Maybe I'll just attach it. I think I'll just attach it there, across the join there, like that. That's what I'm going to do, and then fold it. I'm not going to glue it right down. There you go. There's a newish sort of thing to do. doing very long videos just doing little segments to get these journals over the line I might just glue that amount whoops there very experimental so rather than the washi we're going to have this lovely piece of paper that I didn't even remember having and I'm going to slide it down here a bit because I can see a bit of white there it's not too thick not going to interfere too much and then just fold it in like that I know it's a bit weird but I think that's a bit of fun okay and that is done so we've filled our pockets 
and we've done a bit of work on the pages i still want to do very little but maybe a tiny bit of some sort of embellishment sort of thing i don't know maybe so in the next video i'll we'll make some more i need to do some work down there i'm not going to leave that like that um that's my nice big pocket and it's stuck very well and that's beautiful okay so that is it oh this one let's fold this one in that is it for today just very quick little videos getting the bits done in in the steps that i do them that's where the fold is on this side and i'm actually going to fold it there that's it love it very very pretty opens out you can write on it you can stick pictures there you could put a pocket there and put more writing things in there all kinds of things can happen so those are the two journals i worked on today uh, the other journal is at the same point and so i still need to make some jaff tags to go and journal cards to go in and then we need to put um ephemera in and there's a few little bits and pieces on pages that i need to do as well so still a few more videos in this series but i hope you're enjoying it thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye